This video is going to be about alterations of chromosome structure. So in the last video, we looked at a couple processes that can change the number of chromosomes in a cell. In addition to that, we can have changes to the structure of a chromosome itself that can also be uh, pretty devastating for that cell. So the first one we're going to look at is a deletion. So a deletion is just as it sounds. Um, so that's going to happen when a portion of a chromosome is deleted. And so this can happen during crossing over if the two um, chromosomes that are exchanging information don't uh, exchange equal sized pieces of DNA. So to kind of illustrate that, say we have these homologous chromosomes. So let's say from here down on this chromosome goes over to this non-sister um, chromatid and then only this much goes back. And so what's that, uh, what that will result in is one chromosome that is really long and then another chromosome that is much shorter. So now in this chromosome, we have a deletion because it's missing a portion of its DNA. However, in this chromosome, we have something called a duplication because now this portion that was exchanged during crossing over, now there's two copies of that gene on this chromosome. And so we say that that gene has been duplicated. So deletions can also cause uh, other kinds of mutations uh, in other chromosomes. So if a deletion attaches to a uh, sister chromatid or a non-sister chromatid, but still a homologous chromosome, then that's when we would get this duplication because we have the same genes on uh, those chromosomes. But also when we have a deletion, we can have um, this deleted portion going over and attaching to um, another chromosome that's not a sister chromatid and it's not part of their homologous pair. And so when we have it attaching to a non-sister chromatid um, that's not in a homologous pair, then that is called a translocation. Because it's translocated now to a different chromosome that has none of the same genes. And so that would be the translocation. So the last kind of uh, change in chromosome structure that we're going to look at is called an inversion. So when we have this portion that's deleted, um, I'll draw it again up here. When we have this portion that's deleted right here, let's say between these two uh, shapes, it can come off the chromosome and then flip and reattach. So now it would look like this. And so this is called an inversion, just because this region of the chromosome has been detached, turned around, and then reattached to this chromosome. So inversions and in translocations, um, specifically, we also have another problem that even though they still have these genes there, the locations of these genes have changed, and that can influence the way that they're expressed. So. Um, we don't want any, um, for example, uh, cancer-promoting genes to get translocated to be by a promoter that's really highly active um, and can eventually lead to the development of a tumor, just like we don't want tumor suppressor genes to be translocated to um, be by a promoter that doesn't have very high levels of transcription, so those genes wouldn't get expressed very often, and those could lead to cancer. So um, with these two especially, we want to take into consideration also what other genes are around um, where these pieces have been moved to or flipped around. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.